All right, uh, this is a guide to show you how to set up your STB emulator program. Okay, so once you download and install and open, you will see this screen. Click on configuration application or configure application. All right, what we need to do is go down to profiles, which you'll see there. Click on profiles. We have a new profile already added for us, but we're going to change that just by clicking on it. New profile name there, we we'll click on that. And here we can call it anything you like really, it's entirely up to you. I'm just going to call mine QStream and hit OK. Uh, portal settings, we go into there. Up the top, portal URL, we're going to change that. Click on there. Delete all of that out, all the way up until after the second slash. We're going to type in vader.tv forward slash C. And that's it. Hit OK. So we need to do in there and escape out. Down to STB configuration, click in there. Up the top, STB model. I'm going to go down to MAG256. Click on that one. Firmware. Make sure it says generic. Click on that. User agent, leave that alone. Screen resolution, we're going to click in there and we're going to change that to auto. Now, where it says MAC address, this is quite important. So every device will have a different MAC address. So when you install your program, you need to send your MAC address to myself and I will load it into the server. Once it's loaded on the server, then basically your STB emulator will be activated. And I've already done that for this example. So escape out and out. And again, that's all we need to do. So we can do it, let's go back a step and you'll see a screen has changed. So if we just click somewhere at the top right corner, you'll see this image pop up. Click on the three dots and it brings up this menu. Now if we go down to profile, you'll see there's the name I typed in. So if I click on that KiwiStream, it's now going to load all our information for us. So this can take a couple of minutes. So it won't um, take too long. Sometimes it can take a minute. We'll just um, let it do its thing. After about 30 seconds to a minute, you should see a bar pop up on the screen. Okay, there's our bar. Won't take too much longer. You can see how it's just loading. Loading all the information in the background and watch it's loaded up will be um, good to go. All right, here we are. Channels are all loaded. United States, United Kingdom, sports. Ireland, they are all there. So if we just click on United States, for example, and there are channels uh, loading. So if we just scroll down, so you can scroll down to the next page and it will load the information. And to the right, you can see it's telling us what's on TV as well and what's coming up. And same with the other channels, UK channels, BBC One, 
so on and so forth. Video club, movies, see what's in here. Video on demand, M movies have been edited recently. And that's pretty much how you set up your STB emulator. One quick tip, if you want to exit out, click on the three dots again, down to exit. And that's it. Thanks for watching.